Are you looking for the best drawing tablets? In this video, we will look at some of the 9 best tablets on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. XP Pen Artist 12. The XP Pen Artist 12 earns our top spot because of its compatibility, customization, and reasonably affordable price point. The touchscreen display, a 1920 by 1080 HD IPS display, isn't the highest resolution available, but with 72% NTSC color gamut accuracy, its focus is on reproducing your work with as much precision as possible. What's great about having an 11.6-inch display inside your drawing tablet is that you don't need to look at your other screen while drawing on a separate surface, you're drawing on the device where your lines and colors are appearing. This makes it feel like you're really creating art in the real world. The passive hexagonal pen, which feels very pencil-like, allows for 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity so that you can really get the hand-sketched feel in your work. It can actually be a good thing that that pen is passive, because it would otherwise be just another device you have to charge. In addition, the Artist 12 gives you a full high-touch bar you can program to fulfill certain commands on your computer, XP Pen recommends mapping it to the zoom in slash zoom out feature, and you can harness six different assignable shortcuts keys. This makes it less of a drawing-only tablet and more of a full-featured control surface for your design programs. The device is compatible with Windows 7, 8, or 10 in 32 or 64-bit, and Mac OS X as old as version 10.10. At Number 2. Gaumon PD-1560. The Gaumon PD-1560 boasts a big, bright, 15.6-inch display with a 1920x1080 resolution. In some ways, it rivals the Wacom options, but because it doesn't feature a touch wheel or flashy multi-touch, we think it's a more suitable rival with our top pick from XP Pen. Because of the 72% color gamut accuracy and the 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity from the active pen, it really does have many of the features of the Artist 12. What makes it different is that it offers 10 assignable function keys, lined up in a column on the left edge of the device, which is more than the Artist 12. However, you'll have to pay nearly $100 more for this device. The IPS display's brightness and the extra function keys might be enough for you to spend that higher price tag, but the awkwardly wide form factor, different from something like the less sprawling Cintiq 15, makes it a device that will take up a lot of space on your desk. There's no denying, though, that this is a great peripheral with truly impressive pen specs. Our reviewer, Jeremy Lockinen, found the pen performed flawlessly during testing, although he noted that the side buttons could be more pronounced. At Number 3. Simban's Picasso Tab. The Simban's Picas Tab is actually a standalone tablet, despite the fact that we were steering clear of these for this review. The reason this unit, to us, could be considered a drawing-specific tablet is because that's the thing it does best. If you want an Android tablet for media consumption and web browsing, this will do fine, but you can get just as good of an experience on the cheaper Amazon Fire tablets. What this tablet does better is drawing. And that's for two reasons. It comes with an active stylus right out of the box, allowing for solid palm rejection, crucial for avoiding mispresses while drawing. It also comes with Autodesk Sketchbook and Artflow pre-installed, two excellent beginner sketch apps for Android. As far as tablet specs go, these aren't all that impressive, but they'll work well for a standalone drawing tab. There's a 1.3 GHz quad-core mobile processor, a 10.1-inch IPS display that sports a resolution of 1280x800, and even a 2MP front-facing camera and a 5MP rear-facing camera. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and even a microSD card slot are here. You also have the capability of using a micro HDMI port to connect this tablet to an external computer. And it's that latter point that makes this really friendly for budding artists. They can start with the onboard Sketch App basics, but then graduate to real Adobe apps and use an external monitor, while using this tablet as a peripheral. It's a good balance of both worlds, and it goes for right around $200. At Number 4. Wacom Intuos Pro. Wacom has been near the top of the drawing tablet game for some time, and the Intuos Pro is arguably its flagship line of drawing peripherals. This version, in what Wacom calls the medium size, is sort of the Goldilocks of the lineup, 
giving you an 8.7 x 5.8 inch active surface area but occupying only a footprint of 13.2 by 8.5 inches. This means it won't be quite as cumbersome at your desk setup, but will still offer a lot of real estate for work. Some other impressive features are the eight dedicated function buttons you can assign to programs on the fly, the assignable touch wheel for navigating programs more fully, and even the hand recognition switch that allows the tablet to respond to gestures much like a trackpad would. Of course, it's Wacom's Pro Pen 2 that brings with it the most notoriety. This active pen provides a whopping 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, allowing for excellent sketching precision. Wacom has also baked in a latency time that is four times faster than the first-generation Pro Pen and has even included tilt support for sketching more natural, fading lines. It also includes Bluetooth in addition to wired connectivity. The whole package works with the latest operating systems and design softwares, and though it isn't the most affordable tablet out there, it's a pretty reasonable price for a creative professional. At Number 5. Wacom Cintiq 16. Similarly to the Artist 12 from XP Pen, the Wacom Cintiq 16 aims to offer artists a true digital canvas to work on, a standalone touchscreen display that packs in the same precision of Wacom's non-screen pads, but with a colorful visual to offer immediate feedback on your work. That display measures 15.6 inches diagonally and features an HD resolution of 1920 by 1980. The glass encasing the top of the display, while a bit glossy, features a glare-reducing coating that's easier on your eyes. Speaking of accuracy, the Cintiq 16 can portray up to 16.7 million distinct colors, giving it a gamut accuracy of 72%. This is pretty standard for design needs and will work well for most art projects. The other side of the Wacom equation is the physical feel of drawing on the tablet. Wacom is known for its accuracy and functionality, and the company has done its best to include those features here on an actual screen-based tablet. At the center of that is the Pro Pen 2, providing 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, great for sketching, up to 60 degrees of tilt recognition, for fattening up your lines, and an impressively low latency level that is basically undetectable to most users. You'll sacrifice some control, such as the multi-touch capabilities and assignable function buttons found on other Wacom units, but you're doing so to get the best possible display-oriented tablet you can for a steep, but not exorbitant, $650. At Number 6. Flustin LCD Writing Tablet. The Flustin LCD Writing Tablet is a tablet focused on children's art projects. It's a small, 10 inches, light, 7.1 ounces, device that sits somewhere between a Kindle and an Etch-a-Sketch. So how does it work? The screen looks like a black LCD display, but instead of providing fully moving, color pictures, it just reacts to the marks that you're making by scraping off the black layer and exposing the multicolored background underneath. Of course, you aren't physically scraping any material off, it's just software emulation. But that's the appearance. What's interesting is that Flustin, the manufacturer, has managed to adapt the flexibility of LCD crystal to allow for something that lets children press down with the included stylus to make it feel more like a marker. It's a really beautiful idea, and it will allow for endless creativity. There's eraser functionality, screen lock options, and even the ability to save drawings to look at later. Because it doesn't have a backlit screen, this is only meant for use with the lights on, but that will end up helping children's eyes by limiting the amount of traditional screened time they have. And, because the unit is using non-backlit tech, the replaceable watch-style battery will last upwards of 12 months. At Number 7. XP Pen Star G640. As graphics tablets have grown in prevalence, so have their use cases. One extreme example of this is the beat mapping, rhythm game OSU. And its sequels. The game can be, and is most often played casually with, a standard mouse, but many serious and professional level players prefer a graphics tablet. So, if you want to get into that level of gaming, a great place to start is with the XP Pen Star G640 tablet. Why? Well, for starters, at only about $40, it's a great, low-cost, low-risk way to try out this new way of playing. The 6x4 inch writing surface is enough space for most players to cover their needs, and the passive stylus that comes with it allows for 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. This is, in essence, XP Pen's budget non-screen drawing tablet, so to be fair, it will work for design programs as well. 
It's compatible with Windows and Mac and requires no drivers, so you can just plug it in and play. This makes it ideal for other non-art processes, such as capturing signatures for your business or even just taking notes on a laptop. And, because the thing is so compact, it'll slip right into your bag. At Number 8. Wacom Cintiq 22. We've already covered Wacom's Cintiq line above, and because of the gorgeous displays inherent in Wacom's products and its tried-and-true drawing tech, it's no surprise to see the brand again on our list. What makes the Cintiq 22 different is the truly massive 21.5-inch display at play here. In fact, that's really the only reason this unit will run you about $1,200. That massive display means a lot more real estate that Wacom has to cover with its pressure-induced sensors and color accuracy, driving the manufacturing price up. But you do get truly excellent performance. The 72% gamut accuracy is every bit as professional as you would expect, and the excellent 1920 by 1080 HD resolution is strikingly beautiful. This is a massive screen, so perhaps Wacom could have loaded in a bit more resolution to go with the high price tag, but that's a small gripe. The build quality here is really second to none, and the impressive Pro Pen 2 Wacom's proprietary second generation active pen technology provides 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, tilt recognition for more accurate line widths, and virtually no detectable latency. This really is the option for the designer who already loves their laptop, but wants the functionality of something like a Microsoft Surface Studio, tons of touchscreen real estate, beautiful accuracy, and a workhorse for your design needs. At number 9. Wacom 1. A lot of big-name tech brands are going the way of attainable when it comes to pricing. Alongside options such as the Microsoft Surface Go and the entry-level iPad, you'll find the Wacom 1. Now, the One isn't a standalone tablet like the above, but at only around $50 or $60, and featuring Wacom's excellent build quality, it fits the aesthetic of the budget, but still premium feeling, devices. The 6.0x 3.7-inch tablet measures only 0.3 inches thick, and has a nice, durable plastic build with rounded edges. This makes it a joy to use and ensures that it can be tossed into your laptop bag for travel. The pressure-sensitive stylus does offer only 2,048 levels of pressure sensitivity akin to the rest of the budget tablets on the market and at 2,540 LPI of sensor density, it isn't the most accurate tablet out there. But what the one lacks in raw specs it makes up for an ease of use and, of course, affordability. It connects via USB, works right out of the box with Windows and Mac operating systems alongside all your favorite design apps, and this package comes with a premium-feeling stylus at no extra charge.